Artemis I is NASA's first step toward space colonization. The Artemis program is about far more than just one launch. It is about humanity's long-term future. The ultimate goal is to create a permanent moon base near the lunar south pole, where water is most likely found in crater shadows. Artemis will take the first steps toward establishing a foundation for future expansion throughout the solar system. NASA successfully launched the first test of its Artemis 1 space launch system in the early morning hours of Wednesday, November 16, 2022. Because the launch had been postponed several times due to technical issues or bad weather, there was concern that some disaster loomed over the project. Along with the $4.1 billion price tag for this launch alone, the mishaps had pundits wondering what the point of all this effort was. While there are fair critiques, like NASA's failure to include reusable launch technology, the critics overlook a larger, critical issue. The Artemis program is about far more than just this single launch. It is about humanity's long-term future. Artemis is an ambitious program with a variety of game-changing ambitions and technology. The first is the launch system for spacecraft. While it appears to be based on the Apollo-era Saturn V rocket, it has more going on. The system is a heavy lift machine capable of launching payloads weighing more than 100 tons into lunar orbit or beyond. It will serve as the workhorse for Artemis space infrastructure aspirations far beyond Earth's orbit. The Artemis program's next component is the Orion spaceship. Orion will carry crews of up to six astronauts on extended journeys to the Moon. The Lunar Gateway space station will follow. The Lunar Gateway will be a research hub and staging place for astronauts, as well as a form of garage to store equipment intended for the Moon's surface. It will be orbiting the Moon once a week on a long, narrow trajectory that will swing in a halo from 1,500 km to 70,000 km from the surface. Artemis will employ the Starship Human Landing Mechanism to reach the surface. This SpaceX project will use the incredible Starship Big Capacity rocket to transport passengers to and from the Moon. The most fascinating aspect of the Artemis program's ambitions is where these astronauts will go. The long-term goal is to create a permanent moon base near the lunar south pole, where water is most likely to be found in crater shadows. It is worth emphasizing that Artemis is a collaborative endeavor of the public, corporate, and international sectors. It brings together space agencies from the United States, Japan, Europe, and Canada. The other space agencies will create the Heracles robotic lander, which will be an important part of Artemis infrastructure for moon base resupply. So, what is the point of all of this? We've already been to the moon and why do we need to return? Artemis is about more than just visiting the moon. Artemis will take the first steps toward establishing an infrastructure for future expansion throughout the solar system. Even though humans haven't left Earth orbit in 50 years, the main action for the future lies beyond the moon. To truly become a spacefaring species, we must learn to navigate all of the terrain found among the planets. That is where the real opportunity exists. Let's assume mankind survives climate change and has at least as much time ahead of us as it has since, say, the Roman Empire. 
What are our options? Where does our future lie? The answer is undeniably in the solar system. We're going to colonize every nook and cranny on Mars, the moons of the huge gas giant planets, and free floating habitats. We will continue to expand, explore, and construct because it is what we have always done. We shall build new civilizations and test new social structures in the hopes of increasing freedom, equality, justice, and speech. And we'll do it all in ways that benefit Earth's fragile biosphere. Once you're out there, it's clear that Earth is indeed valuable. Artemis is about so much more than the Moon, with its massive launch vehicles, lunar orbiting space stations, and permanent moon base. It is concerned with everything beyond the moon. It's about what humanity's future will be like in the next few hundreds or perhaps thousands of years. It's about becoming everything we can and should be. Let us know in the comments, what you think about space colonization. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for our upcoming videos.